Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to paint our Fiesta boot. We're using some awesome bright colors. We're gonna have some little sponging fun on the corners there. And as we go along, if you wanna change around any of the colors on um, any of these parts, you are definitely welcome to. Speaking of colors, let's take a look at which ones we have. So our little palette here, this top plate is gonna be our mixing plate. We have our little cups. I'm gonna scoop out the paint from those little cups and put them on my plate. So I did that here. So we have black and white. We have a yellow, a darker yellow, an orange, a red, a pink, a purple, and a green. We'll also need some brushes. We'll need a large, a medium, and a small, and a sponge. We'll also need a paper towel to dry off our brushes and a little cup of water to wash off our brushes. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our background. So I'm gonna find my big brush for this color. If you like this color, I'm going to mix a uh, mostly white and then a little bit of the darker of the two yellows. So I'm gonna scoot a good little pile on over and then I'm gonna get a little bit of that dark yellow. I'm gonna mix them together until I get like a light beigey color that I like. You can do this a different color, just mostly white, and then a little bit of the color of your choice. We wanna choose a light color for this step so that we can put in a little bit of a, a darker color around the edges. Whenever you're ready for it, we're gonna start filling in all of our background. We're gonna go all around our hat and our boot and while we have that color, we're also going to paint all four of our side edges to match. Okay, we're gonna let our background dry for a little bit and let's fill in our boot color next. I'm gonna mix up kind of a pinky purple color. So right over here, I put my pink and the purple next to each other. I'm gonna do a little bit more pink than purple. The purple's a little bit stronger of a color. So I'm gonna do mostly pink, a little bit of purple at a time to get a color that you like. If you want a lighter version of this, you can add a little bit of white. And we're gonna fill in around our little stars. We can go over that line in the middle. And at any point, if you need to switch to a medium brush, go for it. Take it nice and slow. You can get in those little corners. Get around those stars. We're gonna fill in all this part also, that main part of the boot. Go over those lines. 
in this little back part. Just leave out my paint. And this last little back part. We are not for our hat color next. Let's wash off our brush. So I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush. I'm gonna go over here to my orange and my red, and just like we did with the purple and pink, I'm gonna scoot a little bit of red at a time into my orange. So I'm gonna mix mostly orange with a little bit of red to make this bright, fiery, orangey red. And that's gonna be for my hat. So I'm gonna fill in all of my hat color. You can go over all those lines. Smooth out your paint. that dry for a little bit. So after that we're gonna fill in the heel and this part. I'm gonna do that the same color. Still with my big brush, I washed it off, I dried it off, and I'm gonna do red just by itself for that part. So I'm gonna fill in all of the heel, this little bottom part. Again, if you need to go to a smaller brush, go for it. Just take your time. Fill in our stars. So I'm going to fill in my stars next. I'm going to fill in that green one and I'm going to match it to my spur. I did a nice bright kind of limey green and I did switch to my medium brush. I put my big brush in the water for now. I'm going to get mostly yellow. So mostly yellow, a little bit of green because that green is strong. And then we're going to mix them together to get a nice slimy, limey green. And I'm going to fill in my star and the spur. I'm going to wash off my brush, dry off my brush, and fill in that other one. And that one's just going to be yellow by itself. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry, and while we're letting it dry, now is the fun part. We're gonna go to our spongy background. So I'm gonna find my little sponge. I did dip it in the water a little bit just to get it kind of, uh, kind of damp. I squeezed out all the extra water there though. Maybe like tap it on the paper towel or squeeze it in the paper towel, get all that extra water out. I'm gonna find a kind of nice smooth spot and I'm gonna add a few colors. I'm gonna go kind of lightest to darkest. My lightest color being orange. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna find my orange. I'm just tapping a little bit, kind of take off a little extra. Don't want too much on there. And I'm gonna start in the corners. So I'm tapping and lifting. I don't have much paint on my brush, or my sponge, at all. I'm starting at the edges, and when it kind of runs out a little bit, then I'll go to the middle. So each time I'm starting at the edge, when it's a little bit more paint on there, and then when it runs out, I'll go towards the boot. And that gives you a nice little fade. And do that all around.
Okay. So once we have a good amount of orange, I'm gonna add some pink next. So I'm gonna find, and you can use that same side of the sponge, don't have to wash it. It's all gonna kinda mix and blend either way. So I have some pink, and I'm gonna start at my corners, and I'm gonna bring a little bit in, again, just like before. Don't have to put as much of this color because we have a good amount already the orange, just like here and here. Bringing it all around. We're gonna do the same thing with a little bit of red, just a little bit. Gonna get a little bit of red, and we're gonna add some to the corners, and then just a little bit inside. Now, my last color is going to be this uh, lime green that we use for the star. For that one, I am going to switch around to a different spot. I'm going to get a little bit of green. And I'm not going to put much of this color at all. I'm just putting it on very lightly every once in a while. If you don't want to add this color, don't have to have to. Just little bits here and there. There we go. Okay, so once we have um, all of our sponging on there, we are gonna come back to our boot and we're gonna add some little highlights, some little outlines to sparkle it up. So let's go over here to our boot part and I'm gonna use my little small brush I'm going to use the color that I made, the little strap, the heel on there. So it's going to be a little bit of red just by itself. I'm going to follow that little seam on the boot. I'm going to follow the back. Just a little bit of paint on your brush at a time. Whenever it gets kind of scratchy, just get a little bit more paint. I'm going to go around my spur. Gonna go on the front, on top of that toe. And a little on these little folds on the front. And we'll let that dry a little bit. We'll let that dry, we're gonna come back over here to our hat. And I'm gonna add some yellow some places. Now I did switch back over to my medium brush because I want these marks to be a little bit um, wider, a little thicker, a little brighter, so you'll have lots of yellow. So I'm gonna use my medium brush if you need to wash it, wash it, dry it. And I'm gonna go into my bright lemony yellow just by itself. You can add a little white into it if it's really see-through and that's bothering. I'm just going to use it by itself. I'm going to lay it on kind of thick. So right here on the top, I'm going to follow it and sweep it along. We're just doing little swooshes, little sweeps under the hat. On that side. I'm going to do a little on the top little on this inside part, little on the front. So I'm going around all the little curves. And a little right there too. I'll let that dry a little bit. For the little yellow bits on the boot, I am gonna switch back to that small brush, but I'm still gonna use yellow. And these are gonna be kinda Little highlights, little shines. We'll do some white highlights too. So on the edge of the star, this green star, on top of the purple, I'm gonna sweep kind of like little accent lines, following that curve. So it's not really like a like an outline outline. I'm just kind of following the shapes and adding just little little bits of flair. Add some. In the spur. I'll go a little 
on the heels and lines, like a little texture. I'm gonna follow around that inside edge on the purple, around the toe. Just with a little in those folds. And then around the strap. If any of your paint is still really, really wet paint and it's not letting you make a line how you'd like, it's just kind of just mix them all together, let it dry a little bit. Or if you have a blow dryer at home, blow dry it a little bit, set that layer, and then you can put more on top. Our last little steps are just going to be little sweeps, little flares of white. So let's go back over here to our hat. I'm going to stick with my smallest brush. I'm going to wash it off, dry it off just in case. And all of these little steps are going to be with just white paint. So right in this little curly cute, I'll make a little sweep away. It's curling around. I'm going to follow kind of the insides of the yellow. That little highlight of yellow that I just put, I'll put a little bit of white underneath it. Just reinforce those shapes. A little here, a little on that inside edge, wherever you like. A little on the outside. And at any point, if you get like a little bit brighter than you'd like with the white, let it dry a little bit. You can always touch it up with a little bit of hat color if you need. If you want to make it a little darker, not as bright. I'm going to keep using some white paint though, and I'm going to go to my stars over here. I'm going to sweep a little in those stars. On top of the color, following the curves. Same in the little spur. Little sweeps, little highlights. In that center, little highlight on that bootstrap, Bow on top, Bow on the heel, Bow on the bottom of the shoe if you want, don't have to, Bow on the toe. And last little spot, one of those folds. Very cool, guys. We have our little Fiesta boot. Now our last little step, we need a little artist signature. I'll use my small brush. I'll use a little bit of black paint. Now you can put your whole name. You can put your initials. I always put my initials, but whatever you like. You can add the date if you want. Wow. Make it your own. Very cool. We need to find it a really good spot on the wall now. Thank you so much for joining us today and painting the super cute little Fiesta boot. Bye everybody.